Hi, you guys, it's me, Julie White, your dear friend. <laughs> and um, we're gonna play a little game. Since I'm appearing in Doll's House Part Two, I'm gonna present sequels from plays that I've done and other stuff I've done. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? But it's gonna be great. The Little Dog Laughed Part Two. I believe that Diane accomplished what she wanted. She made an action franchise out of her gay client. And then she made like $27 million and retired. And now she has a fabulous girlfriend. They live in Santa Fe and she rescues kittens. Never another dog. <laughs> kittens. <laughs> Well, kind of, Pete Gurney, God love him, he kind of writes the sequel to it at the end of the play. We sort of tell you that Sylvia had a great life with us, and then we had to put her down. <laughs> oh God, Airline Highway, my character is dead, for shiz. She's gotta be dead. If there's an Airline Highway part two, I mean, I would certainly hope that Tanya has gotten out of the, the sexual trade because really at 56 this is just not a good thing to be doing hopefully she's gotten a better job and gotten off the the heroin but my guess is neither one of those things have happened or maybe her and sissy nana you know that great character we could be an internet sensation sissy nana and tanya in the kitchen with Sissy Nana and Tanya. <laughs> oh my God, Grace Under Fire Part Two, Jesus. Now they do that. There's gonna be like a Roseanne Part Two. Didn't they kill Dan in Roseanne? Which is a thing that happens now. They're recycling old TV shows from the 90s and bringing people back. I think, unfortunately, we're living in the Heidi Chronicles Part Two. <laughs> and what happened is all of Heidi's dreams were dashed when a brash, up-and-coming, lying sack of whatever real estate developer from New York City defeated the most qualified human being to ever run for president just because she had a badge. All you women, independent, throw your hands up at me. Yeah.